What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I wanna show you how to do multiple conditional statements with Python. All right, in the last video we looked at conditional statements. In this video, I wanna expand upon it a little bit and show you how to do multiple conditional statements at the same time. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said in the last video, we looked at conditional statements. You can go back and watch that if you need to. And we see here this LIF, that's sort of a way you can do more than one comparison, more than one condition. But that's not what I want to talk about in this video. In fact, let's just get rid of this. Let's get rid of this too. I want to talk about running at the very beginning of your statement, multiple comparisons, multiple conditional statements at once. And we can do that using and or or. So let's look at and first. All you do is right up here in your first part here, you have your first comparison. These are our comparison operators right here. We can just go and and then just make another one. So uh, if number is, um, I don't know, greater than 100, right? Your number is greater than 10 and greater than 100. All right, so let's run this. Our number right now is 10. Let's change this. Let's change this to 9, right? So if we save this, head over here and run it nothing happens. Of course, nothing happens. So let's look at the program flow. So is 10 greater is nine greater than 10? No, it's not. And is nine greater than 100? No, it's not. All right, so let's change this around. Let's go 20, right? So now is 20 greater than 10? Yes, it is. Is 20 greater than 100? No, it's not. So what's going to happen? Let's save this and run it. And nothing happens, right? So when you use and, it is what it sounds like, and. This has to be true, and that has to be true. So this comparison operator has to evaluate to true, and this has to evaluate to true. If either one of these don't, the whole thing doesn't, right? That's what and does. So we can go uh, 200. Now 200 is greater than 10, and 200 is greater than 100. So if we save this and run it, probably guess your number is greater than 10 and greater than 100, right? Pretty straightforward, uh, but very useful. Now, you see I put a space there, you can, probably won't, but whatever. Now, we can use as many of these as we want. We can just keep stringing, you know, things along here. Uh, I don't know why you would want to, but you can use as many of these as possible. So that's and. Now let's look at or. These are sort of like logical operators, and or or, right? So now, or is different than and. With and, both have to be true. This has to be true, and that has to be true. Or is different, or is or. So this has to be true, or that has to be true. Either one of them can be true. If only one of them is true, the whole thing evaluates to true. So let's start out with nine. Uh, nine is not greater than 10 or greater than 100. So if we save this, of course, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing happens. But if we change this to 20, save it. Now 20 is greater than 10, but it's not greater than 100. So what's gonna happen? Well, if we run it, we get your number is greater than 10 and greater than 100. We should probably change the verbiage. There we go, or greater than 100, save that. Let's run it again, just to be sure. Your number is greater than 10 or greater than 100. Okay, that sounds better. So what's going on here? Well, this one is true, 20 is greater than 10, or this one is true. Well, 20 is not greater than 100. So this one is false. This one is true, this one is false. As long as one of them evaluates to true, it will continue on and do the next thing. Otherwise, it stops. So those are the difference between and and or. Same thing here, we can also do, you know, or, or we can keep going and going and going, do as many of these as we want. I mean, practically speaking, you're gonna do a couple, maybe at the most, one, two. 
So that's kind of cool. So just remember, and is, it, they are the way they sound. And is inclusive. This one and that one have to be true. Or is not. This one or that one has to be true. And uh, yeah, pretty simple. So those are multiple conditional statements. Pretty straightforward and uh, very useful. You'll use this all the time. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.